I'll be a man is heavy for me because ever since the minute I knew I was going to have a daughter, I've been preparing myself to have to let her go. And that's heavy. And now when I listen to that song, if I really listen to it, it'll get me again, you know. But there's no greater honor than being able to, to be a father and, you know, to a daughter and to know that love, to have unconditional love and to be able to be their man until they get older. And I mean, to essentially always be their man. And that, that's the goal. It's, you know, it's so they know that no man can ever be their daddy if, it, if their daddy loved them right. But it's hard, man. And mine are still young. So, but I, th I think that I'll be your man would be any dad that really listens to that or listens to it with his daughter or a daughter hears it, that it's going to help them express what I feel when I'm with uh, my kids. And I think that's one of the greatest things music does is it helps to bring out the things. Guys aren't usually open and talking about love and talking about all those things. And so sometimes it takes a little, you know, maybe it takes an artist or somebody to, to put it in a way that helps them to get in touch with their own feelings and a way to word it. So I hope that on that one that that's going to help strengthen those bonds between the mom, or the dads and the, and the daughters out there. But I hope they can listen to it and know that I love them and be reminded of that, even if I'm not around, you know. Heavy song. And then making that song, we got Daryl to put together a little choir. And I'll Be Your Man was all of us recording live in the big room together. And it was one take you know, of just one time all the way through of us playing it. And then it kind of evolved as we were going because we had an ending. We we're going to bring back this reprise and Coy had this melody, this, uh, da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. and Daryl was listening to it and said like, hold on tight to your old man. It was like, oh, I mean, just kill you. And then I've always thought about him being under my wing, and that's how that second part got to be there. And then we brought the choir in, and we didn't know what the choir was going to end up being, but we had them sing all different kinds of stuff and then had all these different pieces to put together. And one of my favorite parts of that song was getting all of everybody in the choir to be able to improv and just let them rip. Like, all of them are such incredible singers, and just whatever they felt, just go off. And I like doing that. I like letting people just not being like, here's your part, sing this. Like, give me some of what you got on the inside. Bring that out and let me see if I can fit it in there. And we did that. Everybody, on the, everybody in the choir ripped like an amazing improv thing for the second half of I'll Be Your Man. And it gets big at the end. Um, but that's for my babies. And uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy with the way that turned out. Yet again, would not have been what it is without Daryl and uh, his relationships with those people and, uh, and his openness with me to try the weird, crazy stuff that I wanted to try. And uh, proud of that one. That might be my favorite one. 